Hi, my name's Rachel Andrews. Welcome to Everyday Athlete. Wow, we we've had some crazy weather in the UK in this last week. Um, I hope you're all safe and sound, and uh, there hasn't been too much damage to uh, your property, or uh, and you haven't lost anything to the wind. So when a storm's actually happening and you've got the high winds and everything, it's fairly obvious that you don't want to get out and go for a swim in it. Uh, you've got stuff flying, you've got things breaking like this tree here, you hear the snapping sounds, debris flying everywhere, and it just kind of looks miserable out there, let alone that it might be raining or just absolutely tipping it down. But I guess what I wanted to look at today is when is it safe to get in after a storm? And what are the sorts of things that I'll be thinking about as I hop in for my swim? One of the first things I'm going to be thinking about is where can I go for my swim where it's not too exposed, if it's still windy. Uh, this is Sunday and it is still very much windy in the aftermath of Storm Eunice. Um, and we're due for quite a bit more windy weather on the south coast of the UK for the next couple of days. But I'm fairly confident I can find somewhere for a swim. What I'm looking for is somewhere where there aren't loads of trees overhanging the water and where I can easily spot whether or not there's debris in there that I'm going to need to avoid. So before I get in, the first thing I'm going to do is go for a walk around and see as much of the swim area as possible so that I can make a decision as to whether or not it's safe enough for me to get in. Now before I've headed out, I have checked on windy.com to see what the weather's doing. And I do know that the wind is building, but I've picked an area which will be kind of in the lee of all of these reeds. So they should take the brunt of the wind and I should be in a fairly shaded position for this swim. The other thing I've been observing is whether or not it rained very much over the last few days. Now we experienced a few really sharp and heavy showers, but they didn't go on for ages. So I'm not particularly concerned about the quality of the water. But I will be taking a look when I get to get in to really make sure that I'm happy to get into it. So that water's not flowing, which makes me think that it's just damp. And uh, it means we haven't got a lot of runoff from the fields. Runner from fields is something that I'm concerned about because I don't want that pollution in the water where I'll be swimming. So the water's looking fairly clean and clear. I'll just show you over here. No really wild debris going on. Um, I am slightly concerned that with the tide so high, we're on a spring tide, that there could be the waterway may appear wider than it actually is, so that's something I'll be mindful of as I get in. Looking at this edging here, where we've got a fence, I won't be getting too close to that, I don't want to get caught on that. Today I will be swimming in a wetsuit because I don't really know what's underneath me and uh, the chances are potentially some things could have got blown in by the wind and I don't want to get injured by them. Someone's just enjoyed my jumper, the cereal chiller jumper, little do they realise about to hop in. I've got myself up to the highest vantage point I can along this route and uh, I can look in off this bridge and I can see there's a whole load of stuff here which has obviously been uh, blown in by the wind and kind of moved around by the tide. It's an estuary just here. But what I'm also spotting is uh, a bigger lump of debris coming along here in the form of a branch. That's something I'm really mindful of and why I've wanted to go somewhere really wide open so that there's not stuff that's just fallen straight in where I'm swimming and that I've got half a chance of spotting it. If it's floating, I can see it at least. The most likely place I could find some debris is going to be up here by the trees. Um, so I'm going to go as far up as I can to get a look at that and that will influence where my getting is. So this is one of those sewerage overflow things and I wanted to come and have a look at this to make sure there wasn't anything um, fresh on it after the storm that's been going on for the last couple of days. There's not been a great deal of water so um, I, I think it's fine but what I am going to do is stand just on the top so I can look back down the river 
and get a feel for the state of the river and uh, what it looks like down there. So there's a few bits and bobs in the water, but there's nothing that really looks that worrying. So I think I'm pretty much happy to swim along past this. Ah, yeah, can get in and under that. I'm just trying to walk along the edge of the river to really make sure that it's as clear as it looks before I um, commit myself by getting in. Having said that, looking at the edge, I could certainly get out if I needed to. Let's keep looking. Well, I've reached the edge of the trees that I was concerned about, which I pointed out a minute ago, and uh, there's nothing really of concern for me there. So I'm happy to go and get suit and booted and ready to hop in. This looks like it could be a really nice and peaceful one on a windy day. Let's see how it goes. Come with me. So these steps just here, if you can see the steps under the debris, that's the get out. So I think I'm going to have to um, probably shimmy some of that stuff out of the way, but then it should be fairly straightforward getting out. I have seen there's quite a, little, quite a lot of rubbish that's blown in, so I'll be taking my litter bag and collecting some along the way. Right, I'm all sorted and I've uh, got my wetsuit on underneath the changing room. Uh, this one will fit the changing room's going into my tow float, so we'll be all good. The only thing that's not good is that I totally forgot to bring my rubbish collecting bag. And since I've spotted there is quite a bit, I've picked up a bin liner out of my car. It's not going to be massively satisfactory that, but at least I have a way of collecting rubbish. Let's hope it's not too much of a handful in the water. I hadn't really anticipated walking this far in my wetsuit boots either. It doesn't really do them much good, but I didn't bring my um, crocs and my string, so more for me. So the tide's already dropped quite a bit. Remember this fence I talked about down here that, uh, that I was worried about bumping into if I came exploring? Well, it's now, I don't know, 40 centimetres out the water. So that can only mean one thing. I'm gonna get a swoosh. Here we go, almost time to get in. Final approach. It's always so exciting to swim somewhere new and uh, today's no different. Oh, just spotted some rubbish though. That little gross thing is going in my rubbish bag. Well, here goes. Ooh. Ah, it's really muddy. As predicted, it was a slip in. <sighs> Not very elegant with my rubbish bag, but when have I ever been elegant? <laughs> and I don't know if you can see what I can see up there, but there's a fallen tree. What a pain. <sighs> Maybe that fallen tree though, is actually the bit I saw because I can see the bit that was out the water. So as long as I go far left of it, I should be all right. So the fallen tree is not looking as menacing as I had at first thought, which is good. But really it's quite difficult just swimming using my plastic bag, although it is a good float. All the rubbish I picked up on the way there, that's bad, isn't it? Just really wary that there might be some branches underneath. Just scooching gently through. Yep, there's one. <laughs> ah, 
Fall hin und passt. Can you hear that wind? It sounds wild, doesn't it? Oh, I spotted some rubbish. Let's see if I can collect it. Bit of a scramble to get to it. Oh, I feel myself getting, I'm getting caked in mud from this one. Yes. Off we go again with the rubbish flute. Indiana Jonesy this it feels like exploring be good to go in and amongst the reeds or down some of these little channels maybe on a rising tide though not a falling one <laughs> so um, new technique I've kind of swum and crawled into this position <laughs> So this is very much hoping <laughs> that all the mud comes off me because otherwise my wetsuit will also stink. Some people up there taking a look at what I'm doing. Extreme litter collecting is what it is. As it's better to be a bit swishy than this. <laughs> Getting a bit of lift. But I think I might be between high waters. plant, dug my hands into the mud and almost got my face in as well. Really could do without that today. It is quite chilly. This fiddling about one-handed is really where my um, mesh rubbish bag comes into its own because it's nowhere near as difficult uh, and I can just be hands-free. Get that again. Woo. Well, that was a blustery swim down a new river to me. Um, sadly, picked up all this rubbish. I mean, some of that is water. Um, the net bag is so much better at not collecting water, but. Um, yeah, at least I got in. I got a swim. It was safe enough because there was uh, nothing in my way. I checked all the bits out. Well, despite all of that mud when I was trying to collect those bits of litter, I've really enjoyed this swim. I hope you enjoyed watching too. Let me know in the comments if this is the kind of thing you like seeing in my videos and also the sort of things you'd like to see me make in the future because I'm always looking for ideas. If you did enjoy it, please consider subscribing to my channel by clicking on my face and dinging the little bell and then you'll know when the next one's out. And I'll see you next time. Bye.